Welcome to part two of the Rome Tilt War tournament taking place on my Discord. And in today's match, we have Arm Waffles and Arm um, Has. Ha, I, I'm assuming it's pronounced like that. Um, playing versus Unice. And who do we have over here? It is, of course. Goggles, also known as Sauron on my Discord. Um, I probably should have checked for names before we started. Um, if you remember, um, it was Arm Waffles who won the last tournament from Medieval 2 Talk to War, and he's come in with his team member as well. Um, so it's done a bit, definitely a challenge for Unice and Goggles over there, but who knows, we might be able to do it. Unice and Goggles come in with uh, the Germans. And the SBQR, which should be interesting. We've got some Axemen over here. Now, the problem for the Germans is they're very naked. Uh, quite literally naked fanatics. Which means they're very vulnerable to arrow fire. And they don't have any archers themselves by the looks of things. It looks like... Yeah, it's just all infantry. Now, this is what I, I like to see from an army. I love infantry on infantry battles. And less of a skirmish aside, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to work out for him here. I just can't see it happening. What has the SBQR brought? Oh, they've got some Berserkers there and some cavalry. Right, they've brought the archers and they've brought urban cohorts, but they've got a very small army. Just a few urban cohorts and Praetorian cavalry. So yeah, very small there. Hardly any troops at all. And a few archers at the back. This, by the way, is the semi-final match, so whoever wins this goes into the final. Whoever loses plays in the third place playoff. Uh, the winner, well, the, the winning two win a copy of Hearts of Iron 3 um, each. That's Hearts of Iron 3 for free each. Um, and they also get points for their team as well. Uh, we got the Mordor's team versus, oh, it's begun, uh, versus the Elves over here. So these players are Elves. Who we got? We got Arm Waffles, uh, playing as the Brute A few more troops, I think. Oh, actually, it's the exact same. Cheaper archers, though, but... Um, yeah, Urban Cohorts and just Praetorian Cavalry. That's what the Roman factions seem to go for. It's just the same setup every time. Which is why the teams are limited to one Roman faction each. Ooh, they don't really bring that many troops compared to... Compared to the Germans, there, though. They've got some... Uh, they've definitely got some tough uh, royal... Pikemen over here with very long pikes. And I've got some Cretan archers and some uh, some decent companion cavalry as well, which should be really good. Overall, they don't have the numbers. Uh, whereas Mordor do have the numbers, but I don't know if it's done a. What they're doing? They're charging forwards without the Romans. What's going on here? Uh, they must have some secret plan. What I'm saying is. Uh, over here, Team Team Mordor has gone for more uh, quantity, whereas the Elves over here has gone for quality. That's how it looks anyway. Yeah, but Germans, interesting choice. I didn't expect to see the Germans in this. Right, in come the infantry now. The archers are probably going to start firing. Yeah, shoot at the Germans, because these are all naked. And with very weird hair. I've only just realised how weird their hair is. <laughs> yeah, so arrows can do a lot of damage there, right? The SBQR sending their cavalry on the sides. Have I done a, have I done a charge back in? Nah, they're just gonna try and avoid each other for now. The brutality, I've got to be careful. They don't want to have cavalry behind them. What have I done to do with the cavalry? Pullback, it seems. Right, I seem to be trying to form a bit of a box. I'm worried about the cavalry there. In come the Germans. Uh, the, the Romans are staying behind a little bit. And um, oh, they're just charging straight in there. Yeah, they're just going in. Right. Oh, Macedon charge forwards. They're not even going to use their uh, phalanxes. They're just going to charge at them. Interesting. Right. The heavy. The Night Raiders charging on the urban cohorts. All oh, these Germans are just charging right in there. They broke one phalanx unit. These guys here have gone berserk. Just German aggression charging in. That's their plan. 
And the cavalry, the cavalry's just there to annoy. That's what it seems like. Oh, the German general broke through. No, that's not what the Germans wanted. Oh, and then it all just collapses. So they had a very good start when they broke for pikemen. I thought for a second that they could have possibly done it. Uh, just with like brutal aggression just charging in, but it seems to have all collapsed now. Yeah, they lost the gen- well, the general broke. Oh, right, they're trying to charge in the cavalry, but they got caught on caught my side, which was bad for them. Where are these Romans? Right, they finally charged up, they're fighting the front of a phalanx. Seems to have broken through. They should be able to deal with the Macedonians there. Oh, it's, it's falling apart for Team Mordor. Yeah, they're already sending the Macedonian cavalry just to run them down. Archers trying to get a good shot in. Yeah, they're going to take out a few cavalry units, but I don't think it's going to be enough for Brute TI. They're trying to chase down the SBQR. The SBQR did break through. They're trying to get them in the back, but it seems like the Brute TI are handling the situation well, and there goes their general. So now, yeah, Team Mordor, the SBQR, and the Germans have lost both of the generals at this point, and most of their cavalry as well. Yeah, the cavalry's just been swept off the map at this point. They got a good charge there. But the cavalry don't have long left yet. There goes another one. The Germans and the Romans have regrouped over here now. Yeah, I think you just maybe start the battle again. Well, not start again, but like just regroup over here. Get fresh again and just see what you can do. Like just refresh, that's what sometimes you need in a battle. Macedon charge the cavalry in, but then you get caught in the flank for so Macedon's gonna lose the cavalry here. No, unless they're pulled out in time. Yeah, just regroup over here, refresh. Start it again, but on this front. And Macedon and the Brutti, I don't know if they've lost a lot of troops or rather they just didn't start with many troops. Yeah, I think we just didn't start with that many. But they kind of need to do the same, just regroup. Both sides have taken brutal losses, uh, but I think right now it's in favour of uh, the Team Elves over here. Brute TI and uh, Macedon. Yeah, look for cavalry. They're not going to charge him, they're just going back. They're tired. Yeah, just go back to the rest of the army. I think the archers are done a fire. Yeah, a bit of a skirmish between the archers right now. Yeah, get your Germans out of there. You don't want archers firing at those. Yeah, they might want to get their archers in loose formation, though. Are they out of ammo? Why are they charging forwards? Um, I don't know what's happening there, uh, but now they're going to get cut down. Weird. Right, there goes their archers, and all of a sudden they're down to basically nothing. Oh, I can't see them pulling this back. I think we're gonna lose it. Yeah, we've got a few archers left, but the cavalry, oh yeah, the cavalry just gonna charge in there, finish those off. And then the archers should be able to finish off those Germans, no point yelling at them at this point. I think it's done for Mordor. I think Elves are going to go through into a final. Well done, Arm has four and Arm Waffles. Well, they didn't have one final charge with the Germans, but I can't see anything coming of this. Yeah, they're just getting their cavalry to safe, they're sending the pikemen. One of them set on fire. <laughs> Yeah, and that's enough to break them. If one guy sets some fire in front of you, you're done a collapse. And it's just for cavalry, just it's just clean on, cleaning up whatever's left at this point. We can fast forward it. There we go, the Germans wiped off the map. There goes the SBQ out with their final troops, and the battle ends. Well done to the Elves team, Arm Waffles and Arm Haas. Uh, quite a lot of kills between them there. They definitely brought the smaller armies. 
actually Goggle's got the smallest army. But, um, overall, you know, well played by both. But victory here definitely goes to the Elves, uh, these two. So they're going to move through onto the final. We've got one more battle to show today, though. Right, so this one is actually going to be the Elves versus the Dwarves. Now, the Elves already have one team in the final, as we've just seen. Can we get a second one? They've got Starkiller over here and Eisenbad, who we've seen before, remember? Uh, the the Macedon-Egypt matchup that we've seen. Yeah, they're coming at it again. We've got their Egyptian chariots, same again. Uh, their Desert Bowmen, their Phalanxes. Very same, similar to the army we saw last time. And they're going to be up against Mergor and Minotaur King, who are part of the Dwarves team. If you don't know what I'm on about with all these different teams uh, from the Lord of Rings, um, it's basically a team... Um, it's basically a faction system that exists in my Discord, and teams compete. If you win, you get points for your team, and stuff like that. And there's a grand final at the end of the year. If you want to get involved, join my Discord. Now, this tournament's mostly has actually been finished by the time this video goes up, I think. Uh, but there's, of course, going to be future events as well. Um, I think we're currently having a flag competition, although that might have just ended by the time this goes up. There's also a single player event as well, so it's not all multiplayer. You score points, and then at the end of the year, there'll be a grand final. Uh, points give you a boost in the grand final, and whoever wins the grand final wins the most prizes. It's like uh, examples of prizes. Last time, I think, what did we give away last time? It was a £4 Steam gift card last time. This time, it's a copy of Hearts of Iron 3 each to each winner. Okay, so who do we have here? Carthage, interesting. So Megro has gone for Carthage. Now I think elephants are banned, yeah. So he's got his sacred band cavalry and some very heavy infantry. And um, some basic slingers as well, some sacred band phalanxes. And some Libyan spearmen. Interesting, I'm happy we saw Carthage, but they haven't started close to each other, they've started far away. We usually see armies start close like this. By the way, this army looks beautiful right now, how formed it is. Well done, Starkiller. Extra point for that. Only joking. <laughs> what do we have over here? So we've got Armenia over here. And they're controlled by, is it, Gollum? Or oh, Minotaur King on Discord. He's brought some cataphracts, some phalanxes, more phalanxes, more phalanxes, and some archers and some more cataphracts on the side. But they need to, I think, group up a bit. It's better for two armies to work together. Unless they're trying to attempt to surround them. Like Hannibal did at, uh, with Carthage over here. That, was it Kavai? Kavai? However you pronounce it, where he surrounded them? I think so. Maybe I'm getting my Hannibal battles confused. Right, so the Egyptian chariots charging forwards. Straight over to the Cataphract Generals. I've done be able to get an easy lucky kill like they did last time. In come the chariots. Boom, oh, they caught them on the side. Oh. If you've done it, Cataphract should have won that, probably. But they've got to have an actual charge in. If they get caught on the side by chariots, you're doomed. And there we go. General's broken, they've lost the general. Bye bye, Armenia. Well, the general might actually. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say they might actually get away with the general, but he's dead, and Egypt took next to no losses on that. Yeah, just charge your chariots in now for the archers. Take them down whilst they're weak, or maybe they're worried about the cataphracts. Because if cataphracts charge head on into the chariots, the chariots would have died. Uh, but we just caught them in the side, and yeah, they just lost a load of cataphracts there. Missiles come in. Missiles do well against chariots, so that's probably another reason why they're trying to get them out of there. That's a very good start by the Elves team there. Very good start. Meanwhile, the Macedonians, they just need to hold. They'll probably Someone will start marching forwards eventually. Uh, Macedon has, I think... Yeah, I bet they've got missile advantage. Archers will beat Slingers. So... Maybe Macedon might move forwards. I don't know, it's this weird formation they've picked. Having some troops over here and some all the way over here. It 
it messes it up a bit. It, can, it means you can't really move forwards. It means if you spawn with troops here and troops over here, then you're naturally going to form into an attack position. Like, you are the attacker in that formation there. I think that's what we've chosen to go for, but it's... Yeah, right, Egypt moving forwards now. They know they've got the advantage over the Armenians. Now the general's dead. Egypt should easily be able to wipe out this army. We've got the archers on the front. Are they about to fire? No, but something's siren. Ah, yeah, the bowmen back over here, they're firing. Are they firing at the cataphracts or... Yeah, just trying to get them away. Maybe don't fire at the cataphracts. There's not much damage we can really do. It might be better firing over here. Come on, have I done a fire there, Cretans? That will definitely tempt Carthage to charge in. Alright, the phalanxes for Armenia are moving forwards, and they're putting pressure on the missile troops, so they've got to send in the Egyptian phalanxes now to uh, try and counter it. And I think the Egyptian phalanxes will have an advantage. Uh, because they've actually got morale, Armenian morale, it's not done to look good at all at this point. Let's see, can they actually hold up? Carthage, like, you need to move. I, I know they don't want to just charge into Macedon, because Macedon, playing the defensive game, is very dangerous with their phalanxes, but... They chose this formation where they've done an attack from both different ends like this. And yeah, there we go, Armenia just collapses. They can't even hold out their phalanx, it just breaks. Yeah, there goes Armenia. Now just send in the chariots, I think, or something to play about the archers. Armenia, they're done. I can't see them doing anything. And now it's a two versus one, just like that. Carthage has been left on their own. And there's, they've clearly tried to move forwards, but they just don't have the missiles to actually uh, compete with Macedon. I'm happy I saw Carthage, but I don't think it was the right choice. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's definitely not the right choice here. And there goes that phalanx unit. Armenia, yep, they're done. Um, Carthage has had to bring some sacred band over, some cavalry, just to try and make sure the archers are safe. But the Egyptian archers, they seem to have an advantage. They're doing quite well against their archers. Ooh, we saw a cataphrax charge. A mistake by the Egyptians. They don't charge in their chariots. To try and deal with that. Oh, oh, I forgot. Sorry, I had it on triple speed. There we go. But Armenia break, and so does a sacred band uh, cavalry. Because, of course, forgot them on the flank, as we saw. Chariots have that slight bit of fear advantage as well, I think. Sorry, I had it on triple speed there, but we, we saw most of it. And phalanxes as well. I think Armenia got a lot of good kills there, but they just didn't have the morale. And now... They're getting cut down with the chariots, and Armenia just can't do anything. They're done. There we go. Armenia is off the battle map, and Carthage lost two Sacred Bank cavalry as well, and it's become a two versus one. Macedon is just Macedon just has to wait. That's their entire battle plan. They've just got to wait, um, because once the the Armenian general died, they knew Egypt was going to win. We just had to wait for Egypt to win on that front, and then we can gang up on Carthage. But if I'm being honest, Macedon is just a much better faction, with their Cretan archers and just general archers as well. Even if they did move, I think they'll be able to defeat uh, the Carthaginians. Just on their own, we don't need the, the Egyptians here. Oh, just look at that, they're, they're outnumbered by so many troops. And we're just going to use a missile advantage, I think, now. Yeah, because we've just got so many archers. Just keep firing in and finish them like that. Waste your ammo and just some easy picks on their... Their... Uh, their infantry. I was trying to pronounce that word there. Pawini. Pawini infantry. Phalanx infantry, whatever you call them. <laughs> oh, I can actually move this around. Interesting. Not that I can imagine anyone wanting to see that part of the map, like the top left corner, but still interesting that I can. I've got the general here in, yeah, archer. Range of the Macedonian archer, so pulling back. What can Carthage do at this point? Well, nothing really. There's nothing we can do. They should have, first of all, they probably shouldn't have picked uh, Carthage. 
But I'm happy they did, because it makes it a bit more interesting. And they should have grouped up as one, like, together, like every other faction has. What they went for could have worked if they had, um, like, a better cavalry advantage and could charge him, but when you're up against phalanx armies, that that's not going to work the same way. Yeah, we've still got quite a bit of a battle left. I can't imagine much really happening. I think it's just going to be skirmishers firing in. And Carthage, they have nothing to counter it. They've got some slingers, but that's not going to be enough. I think they've just got to try and absorb the ammunition. Ah, are they coming forwards here? Ooh, the bowmen charging in. Ah, oh, no, that's maybe just a tempt them. I don't know what's happening there. But yeah, one by one we're done to see the Carthaginians die. And there's just nothing Carthage can do. They're in a bad position. Uh, due to our mistakes at the start. And it looks like the dwarves are going to be out. And the elves over here. They're going to get in the final again. Elves versus elves final. That's, that's going to score them a lot of points in the overall tournament. Um, we, but, and they're in the lead as it is, so... Yeah. What have the, what have the elves done to play for? Well, they're going to win the maximum amount of points anyway, um, but... They can still play for the free copy of Hearts of Iron 3, so there's still something to play for, some challenge there. The Phalanxes are getting really close now. But of course this is not going to be the last that we see of um, Unisay, Goggles... Um, Mergor and Minotaur King, or Golem, on this battle. It's not the last we see of them. There is going to be a third place playoff. Um, if I want to play it, that is. I'm not going to... It was kind of forgotten about the third place playoff. If I want to play it for the extra points, they can do. And I think they will, but I, they, they don't have to. That will be shown on the same day as the final. I don't know when the final will go up yet. It depends on when I play it, but... Yeah, the, the third place playoff and the final will be shown on that day, so... Yeah, it's not the end of these people here. We'll still see them in one more match. Alright, th this is taking a while now. Let's just end it. Right, the Phalanx is moving in. This is the defence Carthage has set up for. And I don't think it's done a hold. Chariots in the back there. The generals are all safe as well. Phalanxes on the Phalanxes. Ooh, Egypt broke. Okay. Okay, Carthage might actually be able to make something out of that. It's going to come down to the general, though. The chariots are going to try and charge the general oh, on the side. It's the same way as it happened before. They've got the general on the side. Uh, the chariots got those on the side and everything collapsed then. I think by accident, uh, Egypt actually won that there. Uh, the chariots actually brought the infantry, which caused the master out the monster for the rest of them. I think they were after the general. Yeah, they killed the general now, and that's it for Carthage. I think they were after the general, accidentally missed and got the infantry, but that worked even more in their favour. Because it just broke the entire line, and now... Yeah, the general's dead, this is old and a break. The sacred band has collapsed. Carthage is done. Well done to the winners that we've seen for the entire day. Arm Waffles, Arm Haas, Starkiller and Eisenbard. All on the Elves team getting through into the final. That's going to be a lot of points that they're definitely going to score. Well done to all the other players as well for playing. Thank you for playing. I have enjoyed watching these tournament matches. There's still some more to come as well. And there we go. Carthage is done. The battle is over. We can see the results here. Egypt got a lot of kills in that one. A lot of kills. And there was just so little they could do when they started separated like that. Uh, maybe they'll learn the lesson, or maybe it was a plan that just didn't go well and will go well the next time when they're playing the third place playoff. I don't know, uh, but we'll find out in the next match. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you do want to take part in these events in future, please do join my Discord. Uh, what's coming up? I think we've got a Europe Universalist 4 event coming up. Yeah, I'm hoping to do one of those. We should have an Age of Empires or a Stronghold tournament. And there's a third age tournament coming up. And there'll be, of course, a grand final. So still quite a lot to go um, up until December when the grand final will be.
Please subscribe for more. Hope you've enjoyed. And good games to everyone who played as well. Goodbye.